It's maths time, everyone. Get your brains going. Get a pencil or pen ready. Get some paper to write on. Let's maths. Hello, everyone. It's maths time again. Let's start with some quick questions to get your brain fizzing. And today, it's number patterns. Here are some number patterns that I want you to look at and work out what the missing numbers are. For example, the first one goes three, then six, then nine, then 12, then 15. So what number will come next in that pattern? The one below starts on 40, but then goes down. 40, 35, 30, 25. But what is it reducing by each time? And how can we use that to work out what the next number will be? Pause the video, have a go, we'll check later. Good luck! I hope that went all right. What we're going to look at today is multi-step problems. We're going to start by just looking at number sentences, which ask you to do multiplication first and then subtraction or addition. And then we're going to look at word problems where you've got to work out what the operations needed and in what order to help you find the solution. Um, good luck. It's a lot of word problems today. So we'll, we'll talk through some strategies in just a minute. OK, have a go at these. So the first couple of questions are really just number sentences. 4 times 22 plus 5, 7 times 41 take away 8, 12 times 9 minus 11, 14 times 10 take away 17, and 63 times 2 plus 15. Have a go at those before moving on to these word problems. The first one I'll read for you. Grace had some apples, but ate two as a snack. Then she bought a dozen more, which meant she now had 15 apples. But how many did you start with? Well, you'll need to consider what operation to use first and then what to do next. Have a go at reading through the problems, finding a solution that works for you and always double check them. Good luck. Now we're going to have a look at uh, some further word problems as well to really kind of just push that understanding of how word problems work and how to choose the right operation. I'm going to talk you through the first one, uh, what to do, how I would do it, and then hopefully that will give you some sort of uh, feeling for how you should go on for the next ones. So the first question asks, Dad drives a truck. Last week he drove 250 miles on Monday and 145 miles on the rest of the days. This week, Dad drove 150 miles in total. What's the difference in miles between this week and last week? Well, the first thing you need to do is work out, well, just how many miles did he drive last week? I'd start by adding 250 to 145, and that will give me a total to work with. Now, this week he drove 150, which is less. So I need to find the difference between last week and this week. So whatever that total is, 250 plus 145, I would then subtract 150 to find the difference. Now, have a go at that and have a go at re the rest of these uh, other questions on the board. I've actually got more for you. So you can pause here, work through these three and then skip forward a bit to the next questions. Good luck. So here are four more questions for you to get stuck in with. Um, so the first one reads, there's 12 eggs in each egg tray and I bought five trays. I used two trays of eggs this weekend. So how many individual eggs do I have left now? Well, the first thing you need to do is work out how many eggs he had in total to begin with. And I do that by saying 12 times five, 12 eggs, five trays, 12 times five. I didn't work out what two times 12 would be because he used two of those trays uh, that weekend. And then I'd subtract that amount from whatever 12 times five equals. And that would tell me 
what's left. Have a read through, have a go, good luck. And we'll check the answers for all of our questions today in just a minute. It's time to check the answers. Or, you know, let's just check the answers. Good luck, everyone. Okay. Pause it here and you can look at what uh, the missing numbers were actually in those number patterns. Get a special pen, mark through what you've done so far. Hope you did all right. And then we'll move on to the next lot. All right, here are the answers for the main activity. You've got the number sentences on the left, the word problems on the right. Pause the video, mark what you've done, and then we'll just do the final lot. Brill. Well, that's it for this maths lesson. Hope you did all right. Hope you got on. Have a really lovely day. Keep going with the remote learning. See you soon.